Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to solve this given exponential equation, x to the power of x equals 12. And we'll be looking for the real values of x. And so how do we solve this kind of equation? Can we use the rules of exponents or the laws of logarithms or either way? What normally happens uh, whenever we solve this kind of equation is if we focus our attention on the left hand side, the base is equal to the exponent, x to the power of x. And what about the right hand side? It's just constant, 12. Is there any way to express 12 constant on the right hand side to make this number expressed as what we have right here, the base equal to the exponent? Do we have any number to express 12 and make that as in exponential form, in which case we'll result to a base that will be equal to its exponent. Do you think we can have that number? And so what do you think? If we have 3 here to the power of 3, that will be 27 already. And 2 to the power of 2, that will be 4. So there's no way we can have 12, right? Which has a base that will be equal to its exponent as what we have here on the left hand side. So what do you think gonna be the value of x over here? If we take a look, 2 is squared and 3 cubed, 12 falls in between, right? Almost. So the value of x must be nearly equal to about 2 and a half, right? About 2 and a half. And if we raise this number to 2.5, power, what do you think would be the result? Is this going to be close to 12? So this is kind of the approximation, right? And so when it comes to this concept, if we use our calculator and get the value of this base 2.5 to the power of 2.5, that will be approximately be equal to, that is approximately equal to 9.88. So this is not 12 as right there, right? So it should be larger than 2.5, right? That should be the value of x, right? It should be more than 2.5. So how do we solve this equation then, right? Let's go ahead with our solution. So in this video, we'll be using the Lambert W function to find the real values of x. All right. And so we have our equation here x to the power of x is equal to 12. And so we're using the Lambert W function to solve for the real values of x. And so using the Lambert W function, we should have an equation that will be looking like here, x times e to the power of x equal to some constant, right? And here, our equation Right hand side is a constant already. But then the left hand side is x to the power of x. And to start with, we have to have a form of the equation. Left hand side must be about this kind of format. x times e to the power of x. So we can have the value of x using the Lambert W function. We have here Lambert W function, w times x times e to the power of x will yield the value of x where x is the x over here. So we should transform first our equation into this form from this format to this format, right? And so how do we achieve this kind of format from here? All right, so first then is we have to take the natural logarithm of both sides of the equation, right? Okay, let's do that. So we take the natural logarithm on both sides of the equation. Okay, so we have now ln of x to the power of x equal to ln of 12. And here, using the uh, logarithm power rule, we can take down the exponent to the front as a coefficient, right? So we now have x times natural logarithm of x equals ln of 12. And here x we can express this x in terms of e so here x is equal to e to the power of 
ln of x, where e to the power of ln, this cancels out, so we will end up with just the value of x. So now let's put this value of x into our equation. And so we have ln of x times value of x, which is this one, times e to the power of ln of x equals the right hand side remains the same, ln of 12. And so now if we focus our attention on the left hand side of the equation, we have this kind of format now, ln of x times e to the power of ln of x. What do you notice? The exponent is the same as this base over here. So if we take a look at the format, this is what we're looking for. That is from here, right? And we have that format already, x times e to the power of x, and the right-hand side constant. And we have that over here. And so now let's start integrating the Lombard W function into our equation. So we can extract the value of x. Okay, so taking the Lombard W function into our equation, w, so we have w of ln of x times e to the power of ln of x equals w times the ln of 12 or w's of ln of 12. So from here, if we go back to our formula from here, we have this format already, x times e to the power of x and taking the number w function into our equation, we're going to have the value of x. x from this format. And so now, based on our equation, we have this form, ln of x, the base, and the exponent of e is ln of x. And so the value of x here is in the form of ln of x, right? If you take a look at this equation over here, x is in the form of ln of x. And so now our equation is considering the left-hand side of the equation, by the way. That is W of ln of x times e to the power of ln of x. So this will be equal to x, right? So x is in the form of ln of x. So that's what we have. So from our equation, we have W of ln of x times e to the power of ln of x equals w sub ln of 12. So now, this value right here, left-hand side, is equal to ln of x. By using the Lombard W function, we extracted the value of x in the form of ln of x. So our equation now becomes ln of x is equal to w sub ln of 12. So from here, how do we solve for the value of x? We can take ln of x on this side right here. ln is base e, right? And transform this into exponential equation. e to the power of w of ln of 12 equals x, right? Or the same way, exponentiate both sides of the equation with base e. That will be the same way. So in here, e to the power of ln, this cancels out. We ended up having just x on the left-hand side, and the right-hand side will be as is right here with base e. So that is e to the power of w of ln of 12. And so this is now our final answer. If we were to graph our equation, it should show like this. So we have the line at 12 somewhere here, and the curve x to the power of x intersects the line somewhere past 2.5, somewhere 2.6 over here. And so that's all for now. And if you found this video informative and helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share with others who might benefit from this knowledge. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out with future videos that will continue to empower you with valuable information. Thanks for joining us on this journey. I will see you on the next video. Have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.